Today was kind of a perfect yeah. late spring day, it was wasn't it? a great day. Got my car washed, and now Mother Nature is going to wash the car, right, Elise? Yep, she's going to do it right for you, That's Scott. Right. I, I know. You know, what can you say? Yeah. <laughs> but yes, heavy rain is on the way for tonight. You might even hear some rumbles of thunder. The rainfall could be so heavy that it might even wake you up overnight tonight. And tomorrow is going to be a rainy day. There is going to be some dry time, but with the rain in the morning and some rain in the afternoon, just more of a damp day again. Friday, look at that. We swing in the opposite direction back to the 70s and sunny, similar to what we had today. And this weekend at a glance, it's looking unsettled. Slightly seasonal temperatures, chance for a few showers both days. We'll keep you updated and posted on that. But here's what's happening right now. This low, it's on the way. It's already started to inch closer to western New York. Thankfully, the severe weather is going to stay to our south, but we are going to welcome some soaking rainfall overnight tonight. And the best chance for that is going to be the overnight hours. We're talking 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning before sunrise, possibly some thunder within that as well. Again, no severe storms expected, but could drop a good amount of rainfall by mid morning tomorrow. Then as the system pulls away, we have some isolated showers that will continue to develop right around lunchtime into the early afternoon, and then rain chances decrease after that. And the best chance for some of these heavy rain impacts is going to remain across the southern tier. This is where we could see some of the heaviest rainfall up to one to two inches of rain for this region, which with some ponding with the elevation changes here and there, localized flooding, possibly a few road closures, go around some water covered roads, especially across the southern tier. I did just add Niagara Falls, Niag the Niagara Frontier, Niagara County and Orleans County, just because they could see some more steady rainfall and a gradual accumulation that could lead to some waterlogged roads tomorrow. We're not anticipating any flash flooding concerns. However, if this does come into fruition, where we do have some of these rainfall totals for a morning rainfall total over to Two inches in Allegheny County, Southern Cattaraugus County, and then Northern Pennsylvania. That's where we could see some type of flood alert. But again, flash flooding, not a concern for tomorrow. Current satellite and radar loop, though, you can see the rain moving into the region. Some heavier pockets of rain now lifting into the southern tier. Same thing farther north, more so a steady light rain for now. Your commute tomorrow, you're going to want to take it easy in the morning with some isolated showers into the evening. So here we go on future look. Here's that heavy rain, some rumbles of thunder. 3 a.m. heavy rain into Buffalo at 6 a.m. could easily slow down that commute. We keep some scattered showers into the morning, but then once we're done with the morning, we just have the cloud cover and a few isolated showers here and there. And then we clear out for right for Friday. Rest of the seven day forecast, it improves as we head into next week. So we'll just leave it at that.